what are some of the common challenges like the front end developer face uh, and how they can overcome these challenges like when they are working yeah. like at the start of your career you can also like uh, give uh, a case study like because when you are starting in anything like uh, for example in my case i am more into cloud and back end and solution architect thing so when i was initially doing stuff like i was getting stuck at a lot of places so then like i yeah. did courses and stuff so what's uh, your experience in the front end roadmap yeah I, i think it's it's can it can be a very challenging especially like you said when you're at the beginning and you get to a project and designer you know draws up something crazy and you're just wondering how how can i pull off this you know so i think that's like the biggest challenge when you have like somebody who's very creative but at the same time uh, he doesn't pay too much attention on what can be done obviously almost everything can be done uh, it's just a matter of uh, when it comes for example to animations how optimized it can it be so if you're going to have this crazy animation in your website you need to understand that it's going to be heavy on that website and it's going to take time to load and uh, to render so uh, from my own personal experience is uh, just trying to educate yourself as much as you can and give yourself time to absorb all the things that you're learning and give yourself experience so try building as many projects as you can and like we said at the beginning if you're doing what you like uh, even if when you don't have a project you're going to work on your personal project because that's something that interests you and with this project you're going to build experience and you're going to be more confident with the things that come on your next like a job or whether it's like freelancing project whatever it is So I think just by that uh, you can you can give yourself the best chances to be to be successful to be more confident and to struggle the least but at the end we all struggle uh it's it's part of the job and uh you know we just try to struggle the least we can so yeah right because I also agree because like uh I also recommend all the guys who are starting in like back end or front end that in the start like create dummy projects like you can watch uh, on youtube there are like a lot yeah. of uh, videos and very like extensive videos like a uh, 1 hour 2 hour long 5 hour long and making yeah. their a whole application you can just like watch it pause it code it then like play it yeah. and then, like at that time because when you're working because it is like a test project so there is no client so if you st- get stuck at something you're not like in uh, pressure and then yeah. like oh, when you learn and then go into a market you are doing a job or like running your own agency the, even then you will uh, face like a lot of problems and i uh, say to a lot of people that uh, this development field is all about like patience because sometimes like you're stuck in a particular problem for like hours and then you get to know like the solution was like very simple it is like very uh, patient yeah. i think in this field yeah you you brought a great great point there so it's not only about like patient you know uh, being patient but at the same time it's just like i i see it like as a fishing so there's like a saying that don't give a man like a fish but uh, teach him how to fish so it's the same thing with programming at least for me so i'm not trying to for every single library or language that you're working with i'm just trying to learn the concept and once you understand that and once you have like some number of projects under your belt or website or whatever you're doing you're going to see the patterns how things are being done and then once you understand the technologies around yourself it doesn't matter if you come to a project and there's new technology you're not going to be scared because you know how things work generally and it's going to be very easy for you to pick up new technology new skill uh, to build a new feature and you know it's going to be much much easier once you learn how 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 these things uh, you know work generally yeah yeah great points so as you know like the front end development is linked with design and how important is it is like for front end developers to have basic understanding of design like how the designs are created and what is like the thought behind them so what's your take on that yeah well i think it's it's very important because as a front end developer you're working on building the user interface for the visitors and the people who are going to use the application itself so it's very important to understand what are the requirements of the feature that you're building of the website and uh, obviously as a front end developers we are not designers uh, some people are doing both like designing and web development but for me these two are like totally different things right and uh, i i just think that you need to understand what is the user experience and uh, that that needs to be top notch for users so it needs to be for in my opinion as simple as possible don't over complicate things and also like website needs to have clear call to action so if you want to do something it should be simple and straightforward to do that on your website 
when users start thinking and when he has like issues finding the features that he needs, it's a good sign of bad design and bad user interface. So just thinking about from the user perspective, try to use it and try to put yourself in a position of somebody who, who's using that. That's like the, uh, the best starting point to understand what this design is for. I mean, obviously there are aesthetics and there's something that you want to build to look nice, but you still need to be to, to consider like what is the actual use of it if it's pretty, but it's not useful. You know, that's, that doesn't make any sense.